Hi folks, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Get some of the sweat off my face. I get a haircut too. You want to hear about the former Miss Chinatown girlfriend? Yeah, you want to hear. The girl in the off in my office decides she's going to hook me up with her cousin. So I'm not much for hooking up with a blind date kind of thing. But anyway, I went and she was darn cute and seemed to be just what the doctor ordered. A beautiful long black hair and nice figure and all that stuff. Yeah, I wasn't even in my weight training days where we really hit it off. And I remember we went to, um, what did we go to? Dinner. We went to go. Must have been really good. Anyway, we went for dinner and we went to an event. Oh, of course, it was the Miss Chinatown pageant. She had previously been Miss Chinatown. She wore this beautiful, beautiful designed dress. In fact, she turned all the heads wherever we went, but in the restaurant, the women actually clapped their hands as we walked out. And I'm walking behind her like a lucky guy. And it was a beautiful top and it, it split quite low. It split and came up over the bust and coming over the bust, it was shaped like oriental fans. It, it was a beautiful uh, tan color like it was made as if it was made from uh, bamboo strands. Just beautiful. As we're weaving our way out of the restaurant, you know, women were complimenting her and, and stuff like that. One of the things that we did hit it off for was because she was into fitness and she went out and scored a big brand new juicer, you know, one of those big serious ones, you know, you wheatgrass and all that stuff you can do. But we juice and stuff like crazy. I really like pineapple. And I like it on pizza too, as a Hawaiian pizza. I really like pineapple. I buy pineapple here at least once every two days and if not more frequently. We went through this pineapple binge, you know, somewhere down the road. We started juicing it. We were buying pineapples. I mean, we, we had a regular produce department in the kitchen. So we juiced up all this pineapple and we juiced up, you know, I love this stuff. I like drinking it down and drinking it down. Everything was good. Our, Diet was good, or we worked out independently, you know, we were into that kind of stuff. And I'm not going to get into too much detail, but she definitely liked Catwoman. I was doing well, making some bucks, and so was she. We were living a good life. You know, I'm at home, and I have a whiz, and she's starting to burn. Jeez, don't tell me. So I have another whiz again and during the day sometime, and she's just burning like hell. So then I started thinking, I got a dose. Kids, put your hands over your ears. It's burning, so I'm... So, so I, I, I talked to her, and I said, what's going on? Anything that we should talk about? Because I've got something I want to talk about. I said, anything. I said, let's, let's, let's get it out in the clear and decide what we want to do about it. If you got something that to talk about that... She's going, what? No. You know, no, what? So, you know, we, I, don't, I don't believe her. And I can't get over to the clinic. You know, in the clinic, you can just basically walk in clinic. I said, I got a dose, and I haven't been with anybody except you for a while. And all it takes is five to 21 days or whatever. She said, well, you don't trust me and don't believe me. And I said, well, what choice do I have right now? I, I don't. What an ass. Turns out it was a pineapple. Acidy. I drank so much of it, it just burned my... That was a potentially good relationship ruined by my fucking stupidity. So does that encourage you to go walking? Probably encourage you to go easy on the freshly juiced pineapples. Thanks a lot for coming. I, I appreciate you being here and I uh, hope to see you soon. The birds say goodbye too.